My name is David Cook. I'm recently 25 from Tulsa, Oklahoma by way of Kansas City, Missouri, and uh, I auditioned in Omaha, Nebraska. Uh, when I first found out that I made the top 24, um, hmm, it was vindicating, you know. Um, you see all these people put in all this work into trying to get to this point, and, uh, you know, for the people that make it, I mean, it's a, it's a huge accomplishment, you know. They, uh, the days of living in ambiguity are soon far behind us, you know, so that's cool. I found out that I could sing um, when I was really little. I was singing in the bathroom, and I remember my mom coming in and saying, David, you actually have a decent voice. Um, she then, uh, being the mom that she is, took the lead uh, and told my music teacher, Mrs. Gentry, that I could sing, and Mrs. Gentry put me in our Christmas pageant, made me sing a solo, and yeah, so... Uh, thank you, Mrs. Gentry. I'm an expert television watcher. Um, I am also fantastic at sleeping and eating. Um, past that, I'm, uh, there aren't talents so much as skills. I, I, I studied graphic design in college. so I want to be the next American Idol um, because it's an opportunity you know, to do what I want to do for a living. Um, since I was about 13 or 14, um, you know, the idea of being a musician has seemed like, uh, you know, top tier. It's, it's what I wanted to do. And, uh, you know, when I got out of college, I had a decision to make on whether to get the job and, and make the money and get the family and do all that jazz or, or really, you know, earnestly put the effort into trying to be a musician. Um, so uh, after graduating from University of Central Missouri, home of the Fighting Mules, I uh, decided to move down to Tulsa and join the band down there for a little while. And... Um, I you know, just really kind of immerse myself in, in just being a musician and, and trying to make it work. You know, if I don't become the next American Idol, I've got uh, fantastic friends, fantastic family to go home to. So uh, it's, it's a win-win at this point. This is cake. Uh, my favorite performer is probably Rain Maida from Our Lady Peace. I, uh, I saw him at, a, at, a, at a, a show called Rockfest in Kansas City, maybe 2002, and... Uh, he came out, and, and I remember specifically the entire performance. He didn't make eye contact with one member of the audience, but it was the most engaging performance I've ever seen. And so I just kind of became kind of enamored with his band. And, and so, um, yeah, I, I just, I've just i always been a huge fan of that guy. I would like to think that I'm maybe a conglomerate of two, um, a, a mix of Bo Bice and Chris Daughtry. Um, but who knows? People may think I'm... Just like Fantasia, I have no idea. I have none. You know, I, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty much an open book, and I'm kind of weird. So I, I don't really know that, that people would be very surprised about anything about me. I'm, I'm pretty much what you see is what you get. My family has helped me pers pursue my dream, um, it really in a number of avenues. Um, you know, immersing yourself into being a musician, the money's not always there, um, and so financially, my, my, my parents and my my extended family, my friends have all been fantastic. Um, you know, it, it starts from my dad buying me my first Fender Stratocaster when I was 12 or 13, um, and then buying me my Les Paul on my 21st birthday. Um, so, you know, my mom paying for gas to get me to gigs, and it's, uh, yeah, pretty much across the board. You know, my, my, my folks have certainly sacrificed, as well as, you know, pretty much everybody in my circle. The most interesting job I have ever had, um, and I have Mrs. Hayes to thank for this, I was a mascot for um, Old Country Buffet in Independence, Missouri. I was a bee for about six months. I quit not long after I got beat up at a baseball tournament. So The weirdest thing that I ever ate, I was at a church camp in Ohio, I believe, and um, every day they would do these sermons that had themes, and along with these sermons, they would have games um, for everybody to play, um, and you could win cash if you won these games. And uh, I got entered into this contest where uh, I had to uh, chug a 20-ounce uh, soda with a live minnow in it. And uh, I was in it with like three or four other guys, and I won, but I had to swallow a live minnow. The most embarrassing thing I've ever done on stage, um, I was in a high school production of West Side Story and I had to dance. 
And um, as America will soon find out if they have not already, I don't dance. I'm terrible at it. Um, and I'm sure somewhere there is a VHS copy of that floating around that will probably make its way, which is quite a nerve-wracking, I must say. <laughs> Hi, I'm David Cook, and I'm your next American Idol, so vote for me.